Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Premier Perspective. Uh, today we are here to talk about the FA Cup games that took place during the weekend. First, we have Man City versus Everton. City played a somewhat of a rotated squad, had a slow start, but they dominated as they usually do. They weren't that efficient in front of goal throughout most of the game, but Gundawan finished with a wide open goal to open the scoring in the 84th minute. De Bruyne got his second in the 90th. Uh, despite the goals being late, City looked comfortable throughout, and it looked like as if they were going to pass. Um, Everton never really put too much of a threat, but you obviously you never know what could happen in these types of games. But City were able to take care of business and go through th- to the semifinal. Yeah, and it's always great to see City going through against a team that has the potential to be so strong as this Everton team this year. You know, they've kicked up against really, uh, just really important teams this year, and going into but prior to the game. I was a little nervous about it, but now that, you know, City, like you said, looked pretty comfortable despite the goals coming late. Uh, the next game, Southampton, Bournemouth. Southampton was able to take care of business against Bournemouth, who are usually pretty good in these tournaments, and they made it to they made it this far in it, so uh, kudos to them, but, yeah. you know, it just wasn't, you know, it's they weren't going to pass Southampton, who have been good when they want to be, uh, when they're not losing 9-0. <laughs> um, but three goals between 22 minutes. Uh, and it's a really great opportunity for their subpar season that they're having. At one point, top of the table, all the you know the stop the count. Uh, yeah. But that was we, like we knew nine was games insane. of the season, I think. I know. That I think was everyone insane. started poor. City started bad. Uh, United started bad. Yeah, the uh, table was the like only flipped. one. Yeah, the only one who had like a good start to the season was Liverpool, who then ended up yeah going bad as the season went on. So it's funny to see, funny to see how that went. Yeah, but hopefully going forward, Southampton can maybe do something, even make it to the final as we talk about the semifinal matches later. Mm-hmm. Well, the next game was uh, Chelsea Sheffield. Kepa's back, back in action, not throwing balls into his own goal. <laughs> uh, they were able to get the win two nothing, an own goal to start it off, and then Ziyech just finished it off with a late second goal and stoppage time at the end of the game. And Chelsea are seriously challenging for silverware this year. Now they're in the FA Cup semifinal as well as the Champions League quarterfinals. And against Porto, it's looking like they're going to get through to the semis. And who knows, this Chelsea team, they have not lost under Tuchel yet. And they don't let up a lot of goals, even if they don't score a lot every game, mm-hmm. and which has definitely been a problem for them. They could for sure be need, – they need to be more clinical if they really want mm-hmm. to challenge. But they're top four in the Prem right now. They came up right after Tuchel came in, yeah. haven't lost a game, don't let up many goals. FA Cup semifinals, Champions League quarters, and it's looking like they're going to get to the semis. So big things could come for them. Just out of they completely turned it around. So I love to see. I always like to see Chelsea doing well. It's one of the teams I don't mind seeing, you know, seeing successful. Yeah, it's uh, it's great, great for them. You know, um, with Lampard, we actually did a video about like should Lampard get sacked, and then. At that time, it seemed like it was a little premature of us to do that video. But then yeah. now that we're looking at it, it was the right decision. And yeah, he was Chelsea's just going to be great downhill. ever since. And um, ever, ever since, um, you know, now Chelsea looks great. And I, I think they're going to be able to do a lot of things. Like you said, Champions League, a lot of potential for them. But uh, for our last game, we have a. Uh, Leicester versus Man United. United were poor. Leicester took advantage. Early mistake from Maguire and Fred. It it really irked me. Really, really irked me to watch that sequence of play. Uh, Maguire gets the ball off a short pass from his goalkeeper. Leicester player swarming the box. Fred back to the, his back to the attack. He's not facing the attack. Maguire decides, hey, let me pass him the ball either way, even though he has three people right behind him. And then Fred, incapable of completing a 10-yard pass to his goalie, Ihanacho intercepts it, and they Leicester get an early goal. United tied it uh, with a good finish from Greenwood. And then again, poor, poor, poor defending. It just You just don't like to see it, especially from United, who's been good this season. They haven't been there right. now. Europa League quarterfinal, um, second in the prime looks pretty locked for them. But just yeah. defensively, were bad, and Telemans was able to just walk right through the midfield and get a shot at the edge of the 18 and and, and got Leicester their second goal. 
Yeah, and as for United, I mean, you know, everybody like United fans, Liverpool fans as well, but just love to say, oh, look at City having all the, this is why City is so far ahead. Mm -hmm. And whenever City does anything good, remotely good against or just in general, they're like, oh, this is why. But then you look at United making uh, silly mistakes. I don't care how much, I'm not even going to put in the 80 million factor on Maguire. Uh, Either, no matter who that is, it's, you need yeah. to just be better there. You need to make a better mm-hmm. decision. For sure. If you're supposed to be a uh, a top class defender on surely a top class team around other top class players, you need to be able to do the simple things and not just forget about it just because of who you're playing for. You can't forget the fundamentals, and that's what they do. United does at times. You can't say they don't have the quality at the back mm-hmm. because while a lot of these players have been around, that's all the more reason that they should be used to it they have the experience and they're talented guys i i forget exactly who played but uh, on uh, the defensive end for them besides harry Maguire, but i know that they have class in lindelof eric Bai, and luke shaw and juan basaka who's an exceptional defender they have the class back there and continue to make the stupid mistakes and that's what's absolutely killing them and what makes it even uh more annoying to watch from an outside perspective is that we've seen games where they play great defensively as as we're City fans, we've seen United absolutely stop City from scoring goals this year, which mm-hmm. has been not something that teams have been able to do. So it's just disappointing to see. And then again, Inconsistency. Poor, yeah. poor marking in the last goal, and Ian Nacho gets a wide-open header at the end at the back post and makes it 3-1. Leicester knockout United, a bit of a shocking uh Shocking result there. I think a lot of people would have expected United to take care of business as they've played well against Leicester in the league. But now the semifinal matches are set. Chelsea are set to play Manchester City in what's going to be an amazing game. It's going to be an interesting game. And yeah. then on the other side, Southampton versus Leicester, a rematch of uh, Leicester's 9-0 win from last year. Um, yeah, it's going to be really good games. Obviously, we're going to be covering it here when the time comes. A uh, good opportunity for anyone, really, because uh, Chelsea Honestly, and yeah. City, uh, I think whoever wins that game is going to feel like they're favorites to win uh, um, favorites to win the cup. And then on the other side with Southampton and Leicester, uh, either of them making a final is going to be huge for them. And you, yeah, never, and you, know mean, especially what, and you if... never know what could happen in an FA Cup final. I know years ago, uh, I don't know if you remember, when City made it to the final versus Wigan. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Wigan oh, yeah. Was go into the second division that year and they uh-huh. and they beat city in the FA Cup final. Yeah. So anything could happen in these games when the time comes, we'll hundred percent be covering it. But uh, yeah, that pretty much uh, wraps up uh, this video and uh, we covered these four games. We'll be back to you guys later in the week with a video on our predictions for the Europa league quarterfinals. Uh, currently we're on an international break. So videos might be a little slow uh, considering that there's no league action. But we'll try to keep releasing content as we can. And once again, we want to say thank you for all of your support.